Hi, I'm Erin Cook, and I'm an estate planning attorney. I'm glad to help you with this quick video, Planning for the Tough Stuff. I've been practicing law and helping individuals and families with estate planning, trust, and probate administration for 18 years, and I'm certified by the Supreme Court in estate planning and probate law. I'm not saying that it won't be good unless you use me, but please hire an experienced attorney who does just this work. You really don't want your real estate lawyer drafting your will. I once met one who gave away a free will with each of his closings. Trust me, they're worth exactly what you paid for them. Estate planning means ensuring that during your lifetime, you have someone to act for you in the event that you're incapacitated and after your death, your wishes are carried out. And the foundation of that estate plan is built with three documents. A last will and testament, a durable power of attorney, and a health care power of attorney. During your lifetime, you need a durable power of attorney for legal and financial decisions, and a health care power of attorney for health care decisions. You need to name a primary agent and an alternate. I know, I know, it was hard enough to think of the first person. South Carolina law states that if you are married with children and die without a will, one half of your estate passes to your spouse and the other half passes to your kids. I don't know of any spouses out there that would like to own their house with their children. Would they deed their interest back to you? If your children are minors, you would also need to create a trust for them to manage assets until they're old enough to handle it. The older I get, the older I think you ought to be before you have any money, but we can talk about it. You will also need to include provisions for a guardian and trustee in your will. The trust would provide for health care, education, and reasonable living expenses, and then distribute when the children turn certain ages. For example, a third at 25, a third at 30, and a third at 35. Sound complicated? It is! But let's look at a few celebrity cautionary tales. First, write a will. Quit procrastinating. Sure, I'd love to ride in Prince's little red Corvette and even have a sliver of his $200 million estate, but I wouldn't want to follow his example in estate planning. It's been almost three years since he died in April of 2016, but his heirs have not received a penny. You see, Prince died intestate, and that is just as painful as it sounds. Dying intestate means that you died without a valid will. In Prince's case, the attorneys and the IRS are getting paid while the heirs are still fighting in court. As a side note, this is fairly common. Did you know that 60% of Americans don't have a will? They're in bad company. See what I did there? With uh, Jimi Hendrix, Sonny Bono, Tupac, James Dean, Amy Winehouse, and many other famous artists. So no matter what your jam, creating a will is important. Next, keep your will updated. If you don't, you will have been weighed, measured, and found wanting. A quote from Heath Ledger in A Knight's Tale. Heath died at age 28 in 2008. He had a will that left everything to his parents and siblings. The only problem is that he had a child two years prior to his death and never updated his will. When you have a life-changing event, like getting married, divorced, or having children, you need to update your estate plan. Once you've done your estate planning, celebrate. Go you! But don't forget to review it at least every three to five years. My motto is, if the staples are rusted, you probably need a new one. Finally, let your family know where to find your documents. Olympic sprinter Florence Griffith Joyner, better known as Flojo, was believed to have a will when she died at age 38 in 1998, but her family couldn't locate the document. Years of legal battles followed as Joyner's husband and her mother couldn't agree on whether Flojo said her mother could continue to live in the couple's condominium for the rest of her life. You need to keep your originals in a safe place and let your family know where they can be found. If we can't find the original, it's presumed that you revoked it. There are many more stories where these came from, but they only gave me five minutes. So I'll just say this. There are lots of other estate planning and tax planning devices. Because families are different, each estate plan should be tailored for your particular situation. I encourage you to seek the advice and counsel of a team of experts, including a financial planner and a lawyer specializing in this area of the law to assist you in formulating a plan that will preserve family harmony. 
let me help you create that plan.